subterranean termites are causing great damage to unprotected buildings and people's homes. My goal is to identify the myths about termites, enable you to differentiate termites from other pests, show you how to reduce the risk of getting termites, and describe the different techniques of extermination, their advantages and disadvantages. Please sit back and enjoy the show. Two, three times a year, in the warmer months of the year, termites send their prince and princesses to start a new colony. Today is one of those days. What they do is, these prince and princesses have got wings. And as soon as they find their mates, they drop their wings and start a new colony together with their mates. Now 99.9% of their them die in the process but less than one percent of them do survive and they start a new colony now if you see these reproductives coming out around your property you shouldn't worry too much but if they come out of the wall inside your home that's that's something to worry about because that means that their nest is inside your home. People often confuse ants and termites. Both insects live in social colonies and may take up residence in or near your home. While they appear similar at first, a closer look reveals some distinct differences. Ants have elbowed antenna and obvious waste between the thorax and abdomen. Termites' fore and hind wings are the same size, whereas ants' forewings are larger than their hind wings. Ants are generally darker than termites. Ants have eyes, but except for reproductives, termites don't have eyes. These are ants releasing their flying reproductives. Now the difference between ants frying reproductives and termites frying 
reproductive is that the wing sizes are different what I mean is that termites have got four wings exactly the same size whereas ants have got four wings but two of them are smaller than the other two and obviously ants are darker than termites and they got a three size uh, three sections in body size this is an ant actually catching a termite and trying to take it home so as mentioned before ants are termites biggest enemies they are now capturing a termite winged termites or termite reproductive and now they want to take it home so they can eat it here we see at the front there is an ant wing ant and behind it there is a dead termite There are three main termite categories damp wood termites, dry wood termites, and subterranean termites. Damp wood termites do not have a centralized colony. Instead, they live in small independent groups. They attack rotten and damp poles and timber in the ground. You may find them in damp and non ventilated subfloors. Improving the ventilation and removing timber from the ground will usually fix the problem. Dry wood termites do not require groundwater. They are found mostly in tropical areas where the humidity is high and the temperature doesn't fluctuate. Like damp wood termites, they don't have a centralized colony. Instead, they live in small independent groups. Subterranean termites are the main pest species of all. They are the ones that make mud tunnels to travel inside. They have a central colony. They can travel 160 feet or 50 meters from the central colony. Thank you for watching. This is the first of 16 videos as part of termitetutorials.com where you learn how to inspect your home for termites, various termite treatment techniques and products, and how to reduce the risk of getting termites in the future. Either you want to know how to inspect and treat your home for termites, or you want to be more knowledgeable and make better decisions, or you want to save money and have peace of mind.